hey guys welcome back to another video so in this case we'll be looking to try and break down in simple terms the money weighted rate of return otherwise known as mwrr so little theory on it we need to know that it's often necessary to measure the investment performance of a typical fund in this case mwrr method and this is typically for a pension fund or a fund of an insurance company for example it states here that one measure of the performance is the yield earned on the fund over the period also, the yield earned on the fund is also called the MWR. So, boom, this is the definition. Moving forward, we know that MWR is the interest rate satisfying the equation of value. Now, this equation of value actually incorporates the final value, the initial period, and all the values in between are known as the net cash flows. And normally, we discount each of the cash flows in the equation of value. Of course, this is the process of present value. And um, however, we will accumulate the initial value of the fund and I and the cash flows and equate it to the final value fund. So again, pretty much summarizing everything I just stated here. Now, let's have a look at the formula itself. So let's consider a fund with, uh, with a value at F0. So that's the value of the fund, F0 at time 0. With net cash flows uh, denoted by C at times T up to Tn and fund value Ft. At time capital T and this time T is greater or equal than the final now so the equation of value equating at time T is given by this so check this out for a second let's try and get this okay so we've got FT over here this is the final value fund so this is most likely at the end of the period so if it's a one year this would be after one year F0 again is at time zero and it's um, discounted because we're working backwards in time it's discounted by t minus t0 and t0 in this case is time zero i should have wrote t0 so that would automatically be a naught a zero this would be and then after the fund this would be the intermediate cash flows all discounted at their respective time intervals where of course i is the effective annual rate of interest so again we're just we're not doing monthly or compounded business keeping it simple and finally, note that the equation of value only takes into account new money boom. Okay, clear. So you might get a question where it has um, several stages of um, cash flow. One needs to, you need to make sure that when it comes to interest or dividends earned on the cash, that's not considered new money. That's money made from existing money. So we're talking about brand new money. And of course, any cash flow generated by the fund itself must be ignored. So okay, I think the definition is clear. So let's jump to the form. Let's jump to a worked example. Okay, so the market value of a small pension fund asset was two point seven million pounds on the first of January at twenty sixteen, and three point one million pounds on twenty first of December. So exactly one year minus one day. So during two during twenty sixteen, the only cash flows were what do we have? Bank interest and dividends totaling this amount 130k. Remember, this is bank interest, so this is not new money, so we ignore a cash payment 155 received on the 1st of August when a block of shares. So, again, this is based on the, your sh on the shares. Ignore, however, a lump sum retirement benefit. Okay, so this is from a, a pension scheme, so hell, this is new money. In fact, or well, this is paid, so this would be a negative figure and a contribution of 50,000 paid. This would be a positive figure. So here we want to show that. So to do this, we need to show that the MWRR, the money weighted rate of return, is given by the is is evaluated at sixteen percent. Okay. So without further ado, so let's just make a couple of notes. Here. So the formula is listed like this, and on the sheet I'll be writing a few information. So here we're going to ignore this sum and ignore this sum because they are not new money we're also going to note that we're going to use a figure 75k we're going to use 50k and notice this is that first of may first of may is literally how many months so assuming first january is at time zero if we if we work back the fifth month would be at time four and this is the last time so this is at time uh four over twelve because we do the monthly and this is at time one so yeah, now all we simply do is just pop in the values. Oh yeah, of course, I forgot to know. So this is um, the fund value at um, F0. So the fund value, the initial fund value is at F0, and this is the final uh, fund value. So this would be F1, or in this case, FT.
and that's it now we just uh, substitute every, every value in so if we're gonna pop in um so it's so because we're working in millions and thousands i'll say yeah let's work in thousands so this 2.7 million should be uh god i'm getting tired 2700 3175 and 50 so yeah replacing every figure here t2 so in this case this would be t1 this would be t2 this would be c t1 c t2 and that's it and now we should get exactly this okay so it makes sense the final fund final um fund value the initial fund value this would be t0 this would be t1 and this is t2 and um, tidying this all up should result in this and that's it guys we're pretty much at the end of it now what we need to do is evaluate i and the way to do this is to pretty much evaluate the, the right hand side at interest rates of either side of the value we're finding which is 16 percent so what i personally did is that i decided to find plug in i equals 15.9 percent and 16.1 so plugging in 15.95 percent so just just before 16 percent if you round this figure up you get 16 and this is to near 0.1 percent by the way we should get in the calculator that's it 3097.9 just under 3100 so remember the right hand side we're trying to we're trying to prove that there's a um, there's a root that is just below 3100 that means Plugging in the next figure, 16.05%, just above 16%. We're expecting the figure just above 3100. So plugging in on this side of the equation, we should get, mm, that's it, 3100. Voila. And that's it, guys. That's literally So we're pretty much showing how to find the MWR. And to summarize, um, the formula that, you know, you really just need to memorize is this one. Or well, actually, the, the, the actual formula given by... The fun value at time from initial time to, to the final time and yeah thanks for watching guys and um have a you know that i've also got the, the twrr formula and to be honest i actually recorded this at midnight so excuse me if my voice is, is sounding quite terrible anyway ciao guys and have a nice day take care